I march past the sliding glass window of the grocery store with the swift pace of a gazelle. I walk past each aisle, mimicking the mediocre food choices on my left and on my right. Until finally, I reach aisle 15, or so it is in the North Logan Walmart. <laughs> and there I see, right in the center of the aisle, in the beautiful blue, unmistakable packaging with the label, Milk's Favorite Cookie. <laughs> what is Milk's Favorite Cookie, folks? Oreos. Oreos, of course. Milk's favorite cookie is Oreos, and everyone knows it. Even the people who hate Oreos know it's Milk's favorite cookie. Oreo has had a special place in our hearts and homes for as long as we can possibly remember. Even Microsoft Word recognizes that Oreo must be spelled with a capital O, not a lowercase O. That just shows the greatness and the icon, the legacy of the Oreo cookie. So we're going to go on a journey today to discover, <laughs> first of all, where do Oreos come from? The origin of this magical, delicious treat. And number two, why is it? Why is it that people love them so much that they are so well known all over the world? According to a man named Christopher Rhodes, who published an article in the Wall Street Journal in January 2008, it was the year 1912. The National Biscuit Company, now known as Nabisco, see what they did there, had a genius idea. Two chocolate discs, white vanilla cream in the middle, and thus, the Oreo was born. And we have it to this very day. But that's not all. What I bet you didn't know is that in the beginning, back in 1912, according to Sierra Tischgart, who wrote an online article in New York in February of this year, Oreo was the knockoff brand of a far more popular and original chocolate sandwich cookie, the famous Hydrox, not so famous anymore. Unfortunately for the Hydrox cookie, theirs sounds more like a cleaning product than a treat. And so in 2003, production of the Hydrox cookie ceased completely. And there's no more Hydrox, unless you're willing to pay $20 on eBay or Amazon for a pack. And that is where our friend the Oreo comes from, 1912 and Nabisco. So why is it then, if the Oreo is so well known, everywhere you look, Milk's favorite cookie is Oreo, obviously, how did it get there? Why do people love it so much of all the treats in the world? Sierra Tischgard also explains perfectly that the number one reason is clearly the perfect combination of cookie and cream. There are food scientists, believe it or not, and I hope to become one one day. Food scientists have actually studied the Oreo and they try to determine what it is about individual foods that make people love them so much. And they've said they cannot put together what it is about Oreos aside from the fact that it has a perfect cream and cookie combination that makes us love them so much. They even point out that Oreos, if you eat the cookie by itself, it's kind of salty and bitter, and no one really likes it alone. In addition to that, the physique, the structure, the character, and the look of the Oreo. No grease, no glaze, no oil. It's just crisp and clean and very, very easily recognizable. But number three is perhaps the crowning reason for why we love the Oreo <coughs> cookie so, so, so very much. And that is the various ways in which you can consume them. I brought with me my friend Quinn, and Tyler is going to assist us today as we demonstrate for you some of America's favorite ways to partake of the Oreo cookie. We will take out our milk here for informational purposes. I'll let you pour the milk to demonstrate these ways. Number one, I'll have my friend Quinn demonstrate for us, the mammoth all-in-one bite. This is done by opening the oral cavity to full capacity and depositing the Oreo cookie inside. Please demonstrate for us, Quinn. Shaky, oral cavity. Voila. <laughs> the Oreo all in one bite. Number two, which Tyler will demonstrate for us, is the classic Big Mac. The Big Mac is when multiple Oreos are taken and dismantled and the cream patty in the middle is put together to stack one abnormally large Oreo. Go ahead and take a few there, Tyler. Oh man, Enjoy now we just fell apart. Those are breaking for you, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. As you see, Tyler is struggling <laughs> to create the Big Mac cookie. <laughs> but you understand the point. Multiple Oreos broken apart, stacked on top of each other for optimum pleasure. It's just a double stuff, but it's good. Number three will be the famous twist and lick. Quinn, if you will demonstrate this one for us. 
Many people like to twist their Oreo apart and lick the cream or just lick the cookie. I think licking the cookie is disgusting. There you go. Some will toss the cookie because they don't like it by itself, or they will eat the cookie after they're done licking. Number four is most infamous, most popular, I would say. It's why we call it Milk's Favorite Cookie. This is the Dunker, the Tim Duncan, the famous slam dunk. It's where you dunk your Oreo cookie in milk and enjoy it. But wait, what happens far too often to us when we dunk our Oreos in milk, my friends? You drop it in the milk. Your fingers get sticky, or even the Oreo gets too moist and it will tragically crumble at your fingertips, sinking to its milky grave. So we have a solution for this epidemic. It is a fourth method. Oreo. Fork in the cream, like so. No dropping, no crumbling. Voila. Thank you, Quinn and Tyler. So ladies and gentlemen, the Oreo is legendary. It has been gracing us with its tantalizing taste and glorious presence for as long as we could possibly remember. For the many ways we can eat them, the physique, we love Oreos. And whether you love them or you hate them or you just don't care, there is no denying that Oreo is milk's favorite.